In this video, we're checking out the Boss DM2W delay. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're new here, my name's Eric Marrow. Here on this channel, you're gonna find gear demos like this one and instructional videos aimed to help musicians just like you and I. So if that sounds cool, please subscribe to the channel, check out all the other videos, and let me know what you think of this video in the comments below. So as I said in the intro, we're going over the Boss DM2W delay, and this is part of their Waza series. And this is kind of like a revival of some older Boss pedals that maybe have been out of production or had a resurgence in popularity. They include the standard, the original sounds on the pedal, and then all also additional features to really expand the feature set of these pedals. So the delay here, of course we have three controls for delay time, wet dry mix, and feedback. Our wet dry mix is in the middle here. So the echo knob in the middle controls our amount of wet affected or delayed signal. So if we turn it all the way down, we're not gonna get any echo at all. And as we turn it up, we're increasing the volume of that delayed signal. So you can hear up at the, the higher end, the maximum amount of echo, our delayed signal is actually a tiny bit louder than our dry signal. So I'm gonna bump it back to about 60% to give more of a, a nicer balance of our dry signal with our delayed signal. Now we're gonna go on to the rate control. The repeat rate controls how fast or slow our echo repeats. So if we turn it all the way down, we actually get longer delay times. And as we turn that control up, our repeats start to get closer together and faster. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and set that down to about 50%. That's just gonna give us a nice middle of the road delay length. And now we're gonna go on to the intensity control. Now this controls our feedback and that controls how many repeats we have on our delayed signal. If we turn it down, we only get one single repeat. So that's your initial attack and then one repeat of that and as we turn that knob up we're getting more repeats which kind of makes it a little bit more washed out and a little bit more trailing so here's one here's at about 30 percent
And right here, when the intensity control is around, looks like 75%, you can hear that it starts to kind of get even longer and it kind of is on the cusp of self oscillation. And that means if you hit a note, it's gonna feed back into itself and the pedal is going to start oscillating. So from here, if we increase the feedback, the intensity control, we're going to get more self oscillation. So I'm gonna go ahead and step it up to about 80%. And you can hear there that I only hit one note, but the pedal started feeding back in itself. So it's oscillating inside the pedal, which can be cool for like more noise sections. And if you decrease the echo, it kind of gives you like a nice bed to play over. So like a bed of like ambience. So that was with the intensity control at the lower side of oscillation, but if you turn it up even more, your oscillation starts to happen even quicker. So here is on full 100%. So as you heard there, with the intensity control all the way up on 100%, the self oscillation starts almost immediately and it gets really loud and really intense. And even low settings on the echo knob really don't put it all the way in the background. It kind of dominates all your signal. So moving on, we also have the middle toggle and the pedal here, which is standard on most Waza series pedals. We have an S mode, which stands for standard, and we have a C mode, which stands for custom. Now, the custom is going to be an elaboration on the classic circuit, and the S mode, the standard mode, is that original initial circuit. So right now we have it on the S mode. We have everything up at 50%. I'm gonna put the mix up at about 60 to 70%. Here is the standard sound. And if we move over to the custom mode, what happens in the DM2 is that our delay time is significantly increased. So right now we have it on 50% on the rate control and it's a pretty quick delay. As we turn over to that custom mode, we're gonna hear our delay increase, almost double essentially. So here is standard mode again. And here's custom. So in that custom mode, we're really taking full advantage of the circuitry inside to give us the maximum amount of delay time, which is really cool and really beneficial and useful for a more simplistic style of delay like the DM2.
I hope you enjoyed this look at the Boss DM2W Waza delay. If you did, please let me know in the comments below. And if you did like this video, please subscribe to the channel and check out all the other videos I have here. If you want to keep up with me on a daily basis and interact with me a little bit more, you can always find me over on Instagram. My handle is at Eric Merrow. And before I get out of here, I want to send a huge thank you to these folks right over here who are my supporters, my executive producers over on Patreon. Thank you so much for the support. It means the world to me and it helps me run this channel. So thank you again. If you'd like to learn how to support the channel, I'll leave a link in the description below. Thank you for the support. Thank you for watching. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying safe and I will talk to you in the next video.